thing with two health and another one that we don't want him to damage. That was surprisingly okay. That was again surprisingly that okay. Was very good. Go Death Lord! You are the best. <laughs> the best, best, best. Okay, so we're gonna make that trade. Yes. I think that's <laughs> and then we're gonna make this trade, and then we're gonna heal this guy, and that means we can only drop a silver hand knight, which I'm fine with. Uh, I'm I'm okay with that it's too. Time. Wow, avenging wrath. Thank you for sucking. Yeah, thank you for missing. So another way to win games with a shitty deck is to RNG a lot. Ready, sir. To North Ren. That's not so good for him. He traded six nope. manas for our five mana. <laughs> And he's going to pointlessly tap. I mean, I guess that taunts some damage. What can he do with two mana? I mean, if he can do something, he should put it out. He can't be playing around a Holy Nova at this I point. <laughs> I do want our rag to come out and finish this game as quickly as possible, though. The longer this thing drags on, the more he could probably do something. Because he, you know, this deck for him has a pretty high win rate. It has to get there somehow. Yeah. Uh, chat says incoming Tyrion. Yeah, it could, no, it could, um, I would not be that surprised. Oh, that's desperation. You know, if I had any spell, which I don't, but I do have this card. Oh, God. Okay, well, I'm going to okay. try to trigger the the possible thingy first. The, you know, the, the one that uh, taunts 2 1 damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Get down! Yep. Then I'm gonna deal one damage. <laughs> then I'm gonna trade. If you insist. Then I'm gonna heal my guy up. And then I'm going to drop the only card that I can. And we are looking at a ton of cards against this one card. So it's it's looking good. Can't complain about how good. it looks. We can two for one ourselves the next turn and be generally okay. Now we are fearing the death wing. Yeah, but well, we have a Shadow Word uh, death that will hopefully draw. Is he not dropping his other card? No, he has to drop something. It doesn't matter what that card is, it has to be played. It's a Blessing of Kings, isn't it? Mm. Even a Blessing of Kings has to be played at this point. Right. So he's a Deathwing? <laughs> he has a Deathwing. No, no, he doesn't. If he did, he would have played whatever the hell that other card was. So he doesn't have a Deathwing. Ha! Ah. <laughs> We're dropping ah. the boulder. Uh, well, it could be an equality consecrate combo. I must consider. Oh. No, but he, he just drew the second card. It would be crazy to have both. Ah, uh, do we? Because we don't have to. We actually don't have to at all. Our board is more than intimidating. That's true. We could just drop the Dark Cultist. <laughs> The damned stand ready. That's fair. Right, Do and this lethal? still sets up for lethal. Is yeah, lethal? yeah, yeah. I can't, I, there's too many numbers. Yes, we have lethal. Great. That's like a death wing. It's almost as good as the death wing. <laughs> um, so I think there's no way he, that we don't have lethal now. Because we were two damage over in any case, right? Right. Uh, so we can just do this. Yes. Get down! Okay, now attack. Ha ha ha. Oof.
How do we win that again? Did we just tempo really hard at the beginning again? Oh no, Death Lord. That's Death right. Lord. Death Lord won that Remember, game for us. Yep, yep. You talk me into Death Lord sometimes, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. talk you into Death Lord the other time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, look, has Death Lord screwed us over yet? In either of the two decks that we played? No. Not it, yet. It does lose you a game here or there, but again, it's one of those things where if you have a really crappy deck, Death Lord is not bad. Uh, so it does prevent against the downside. It feels bad. <laughs> Look, it's one of those cards that feels bad. You never want to win on RNG. I mean, you always want to win however you can, but it's always better to win on skill, or what feels more like skill. Um, but a win's still a win. Right. Like, you lose on RNG, so you might as well make it work for you sometimes. Gotta put yourself into a situation. We are, we are getting... You know, in our nine games now, we haven't faced... A class that pings. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> we keep the blue gill. So tempted to keep a no to have something to do on turn four. I know, but Yeah, we need a turn three move. We need a turn three. Please come back, no Oh god. Please come back. Mistake. Oh god. Mistakes were made. Job's done. Mistakes were made. We can lose in peace now. We have seven wins. Oh my god, we have all of our... Uh... Wait, wait, he can coin. He can coin out something. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Now we couldn't play our second bluegill. <laughs> we could just be spamming him with bluegill, dealing pathetic two damage to a priest. Oh, this is gonna suck. We're gonna be forced to play this long game that we have no ability to. That that Norshire just has to stay alive. Yes. But we can't guarantee that it'll stay alive because oh my god, he's like oh skipping turns right along with us. See, and now we have no turn four play, none at all. Oh, I should have kept the gnomish. We should have. We're, we're not going to win this. We're, we're not going to win this. We can't win this game anymore because he has shown that he is super. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Control. Yeah, he's super control. Yeah. And we can't deal with super control. We silver hand, right? Must I don't know. It doesn't do us any Copa good. A tough spot. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding silver hand doesn't do us any good. He just attacks, heals, you know? We have four damage. True. Yeah, I guess we got Venture Co. Let's draw out that death. Okay. Good. He's probably holding a ton of them. Yeah, fine. That's fine. All right, Boulder. Oh, he doesn't have another death. Yeah, I know. How many deaths do you have? He did that super quickly. Did he I not know. have a five drop? Totally okay. okay with this. Yeah. Because we are going to tempo and force and then holy smite that thing. Yes, we are. That was really good. Still, we still don't have cards. No, we don't. <laughs> we have a lot of Silverhand Knights. Which are oh, the boy. best things against a priest. Does that for attack? Yeah, but it doesn't do anything against all of his fat stuff. No, it doesn't. Is he gonna iron forge rifle in this? One shot. One oh, kind of like an iron forge rifle, man. Just like a much better card. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, he screwed up the order. 
We're in his head. Um, okay, now the Death Lord is coming out. Most definitely. Um, no. Death Lord. The Blue Death Gill is Lord, coming out. Blue Gill Heal. Right? I think it's Silverhand Knight of Blue Gill. Oh. Right? Ah, uh, you're it's right. It's Silverhand Knight of Blue Gill. I want the Death Lord out, but I need the Knife Juggler to be dead. And if the Death Lord is coming oh, out, I also oh, need the Morgan to be dead. Silverhand Knight and Blue Gill, if you Holy Novas were just off the 4-2. Huh? Oh. Yeah. The Death Lord actually prevents Holy Nova from, like, screwing us. But, but then if you Shadow we, yeah, we have we have nothing. Oh, we can we can Spellbreaker our Death Lord the next turn. Next turn, yes, next turn. So we're going to do that the next turn. Move quickly. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. All right. That's fine. Get Holy Nova for two cards. Yeah. So we already took one of his cards. And he's really trading two for two, so we're up a card. I, I just I can't risk uh the the Death Lord giving him a card. That's true. It's a easy No way Holy to... Nova. He wasted a holy smite. He's really not concerned about this card's thing. Magic shall not he's wow. really not concerned about this card's thing. Wait, wait, that was Seriously? Uh, well, we should just take care of the board first, right? Also, draw a card to see if it changes any options. Okay. So I heal this, and then, well, I, I power word shield this. Power no, I power word shield first. the Silverhand Knight. Because I can just heal this, and I can do this trade. Yeah, because we have more Silverhand Knights. Oh, okay. Care. Okay. Okay, yeah. Alright. I guess we Silverhand Knight again after we make this trade. Okay. To battle. <laughs> Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Don't see a compelling reason. I don't he's getting desperate. Did. Like it looks like he's getting desperate. Right. He holy smited that 2 2 so quickly. Yeah. I mean, it feels like he's desperate, but. Deathwing? That's fine. Maybe he just has a lot of mind controls. Maybe. So now we can Death Lord and spell break the Death Lord, just as something to do. Yeah. Because we have the perfect amount of mana to also Iron Forge Rifle Man, uh, the Temple Enforcer. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind of hilarious. To battle. <laughs> if you insist. Death does not scare me. Your magic shall not sing. To battle. I mean, if he's hoping to mind control multiple things, I have bad news for him. We're yeah. never playing that rag. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have the board and we have cards on him. I wonder. Right. His deck also, hasn't looked so very... good so far. I don't know how he's at the win rate that he's at. Maybe he just survives until he had a, he hits his like three mind controls, but. Like, this is a The thing is, it didn't look like he was surviving. Like, he didn't have any things that made him survive. He had one Senjin. Mm. You know? Yeah, I don't know. How many cards does he have left in his deck? A lot. He hasn't been drawing cards either. No, 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 no. no one's been drawing cards. No one's been doing anything. We've just been killing his stuff faster than he's killing ours. And we always right. have the board. I must consider... Please, let's not DC. There we go. Ha ha ha. 
That was a very good silence. I know. That's one of the reasons why I didn't care too much about the Death Lord. We had a silence in the deck. Like, worst comes to worst, we can just keep holding the cards. Ooh. Oh. That oh. Oh. He's just conceived right now. That's that's basically GG. Yeah, that's GG. Uh, okay, so... You insist. Yeah. And then 4-4 four, four into the 1-3. Oh. Silverhand Dark Cultist. I, I'm kind of afraid of uh, of the Deathwing at this point. Okay. Just silver? Yeah, I'm just going to silver. Or do I just start? Okay, wait, wait. wait. If we j wait, wait, uh, so hit him to the face uh, first, mm -hmm. and then. Well, no, no, I, okay, so after that, he has what sixteen. So you want to set it from lethal. So six, five, eight, ten. Oh, so silver hand by itself is lethal. Squire, cool. attend me. Uh, Cultist Ready, also sir. kind of guarantees it if you kill something. Playing around the Deathwing, and it doesn't guarantee it. He can heal. He can heal and kill something. He's a priest. Well, we don't really have lethal the next turn. Oh, well, then we should have put something. Um, mm -mm. Oh, yeah. We could have put something out there to try to get lethal then. I want... well, um, we're going to have to do this for one more turn. Whatever he puts out, we'll remove. I'm guessing he's just holding another mind control trying to get something. And plus, I want to hold some cards in case he like has some tricks or whatever. I want to like think like, oh, maybe he has a mind control or whatever. Although at this point, he should be desperate enough to play you anything. Got a problem. Yeah, he doesn't have lethal. That's it. If you're reluctant to drop something last turn, then there's definitely no reason to drop it this turn now. You have been. Well played. Ah. This is the secretly great deck. So sure. I, I really don't know what what to say or why this is. It's just it's a it's a mix of being able to get on the board before our opponent, of not facing anything that can ping us, and of like getting lucky on the RNGs. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going. I mean, RNG comes and goes, but have you been updating the record? Yeah. I'm treasuring every single win. This is the only run where I'm actually on top of updating the record. Because every win is precious. Oh, okay. We can lose now. You asked for it. It's a light shall bring victory. Wally. We're going first. Death Lord. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I mean, we have to find some way to win, right? Exactly. Oh god, we're going for it. We gotta find some way to win. We're going for it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready for it. Two drop would be helpful, but... Okay. Gotta find a way to win. Job's done. <sighs> Mm, he's aggro. Yeah, uh, if we don't play something like a Death of the Lord, we're just like, we'll just be dead. Uh, he could fireball and trade on the same turn. Heal the uh, apprentice. No. No, right, sorry. Misplay. Uh, Where this... were you earlier, Wolf? Let's do it. 
Let's do it. Death Lord time. Death does not scare me. Death does not scare me. Okay, he, used... he has to use two cards to kill it, so we're at least not down on cards. Right. Yeah. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, uh, that Shadow Word Death is... um. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, we kind of have to... That's... Oh, wait, that, that's 12 damage incoming to our face. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can't take damage. We're about to lose. <laughs> I think the game just ends there. Oh, jeez. So many apprentices. Oh, my God. Aggro mage. Uh, okay, so that could dark be a... Dark Cultist and Dire Wolf Alpha. So let's Dire Wolf Alpha first. Dire Wolf Alpha first, and then Dark Cultist. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can't play that Drake. You can't play that Drake. We lose if that's... Okay, it wasn't, but we couldn't do it. He could flame strike us here. <laughs> I've got a heat, He's aggro, he doesn't have flame strike. Yep. Alright. Let's figure out a way to not die. Uh, okay, we know I that's not we, mirror. Uh, we Drake and we heal ourselves. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And then we get rid of the um, the cultist. My fate is yeah. sealed. Whoa. Uh, no, no, well, no. Oh, you want to just actually trade it in to get rid of the cultist? Yeah. No. Because if you do it this way... No, no, no. We, we, need, we need the stuff. We need stuff on the board. We need him to anti-tempo. We can't just we can't do that. My fate is sealed. Oh right, right. So we want him to. We can't do that. Like he's not killing us yet, especially because we're purposefully anti-tempoing for this right, to heal right. ourselves. Like he can still clear the board, but stabilized, and that's what matters. Right. Because um, we're giving him like two more cards that are like small. Yeah. Not having a Holy Nova really sucked there. Wait. Wrong move. Oh, he's just gonna go for it. He should have still. I guess he wasn't gonna it. trade. That's fine. Uh... We have to yeah. heal ourselves. I'm gonna try to draw into that Holy Nova. Yeah, let's do it. We don't really have that many outs. I think that's a good idea. Well, that wasn't it. Well, it's no mission heal, right? <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank you so much. Well, Fireball ends it. <laughs> uh, what were we going to do against that aggro mage? Put us out of our misery. We had a Death Lord too. <laughs> yeah, we did everything we could. We, we had a Death Lord and we had an answer for what the Death Lord put out. To yeah. He oh, doesn't have God. a fireball on the bright side. Yeah, on the downside, there's not much we can do about this. Oh, okay. We're, we're dead. Uh, well, not, not technically. We're not technically dead. Alright. So I guess we play to the we're not technically dead side. Right. I must consider. I guess we tempo and force the Twilight Drake. We do. The alternative is to Swordsmith and Cultist can play two things, but then a flame strike and we're off the board. Yeah. I must consider. All right. We're gonna play this. You have one damage game. <laughs> Knowing his deck, he probably does. Ah. <sighs> any of those cards can be a one, like an arcane missile, to probably kill us. 
Well played. Would that have gone any differently if we used the Dark Cultist there? He fireballs it, he continues attacking us. Nope, be kind of the same. What to do? What to do? Flame stretch. Yep, you go for it. Huh. Okay, well, I don't we think we have a choice. We have to clear, and then we play the Frost Wolf. Yeah. And then we heal. Well, so we drop the Swordsmith, too? Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay. So how do we want to do this? Uh, well, this one's dead anyway, so we might as well just take that out. I guess we, if it's a duplicate, we want the Mana Worm more. We want the Mana Worm. Sorcerer's Apprentice is too dangerous. Okay. Well, we're definitely healing ourselves. I'm so glad this deals only one damage. <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly. Bring me steel. Huh. The frost will step ah! quickly. I mean, he doesn't have damage, I guess. He's just waiting to draw something. I hope he never draws it, but we can only do this for a certain amount of time. Someday I'll be just like you. Flame Someday I'll be just like you. Uh, that works too. Holy Nova, we have an Holy out. Holy Nova, please. We do have one out, and we. Well, oh, wait, wait, okay, so if we spell break... Nope. <sighs> doesn't do anything. We only spell break one thing. Can't spell break them all. Well played. Well played. I Cannot spell break them all. Man, I'm not gonna That's find it. out what that secret is. Never gonna find out what that secret is. Nope. Oh, we need our one holy nova. The entire game, it um, just did not come. Ooh, there has been uh, quite a bit of activity in the chat. Um, what is it? Let's see. Uh, Fox Capacitor um, said, these guys said popular streamers are way worse, but I see people like Amaz and Hoff get 12 wins all the time. There's not too much difference, especially since this is two Oh, well, first of all, I don't think they're way worse. I'm saying we have never said that other people are worse arena players than we are. Well, all we are saying is the factual matter, which is that our stream has the highest record, which is a fact. Yeah. Hafu is, in my opinion, the best arena player out there right now. Um, that actually streams, um, and uh, you know she averages seven point five wins per game, maybe seven point six. That's a fact. Trump averages seven point four. These are facts. Right. We're not saying we're better players. We're saying this stream, the Arena Coop, averages more wins. That's it. And there's a difference. Yeah. Uh, you know, we prefer for you not to put words into our mouths um, because we really never stated that. It, it, we never stated that anyone is worse than yeah. us. But there's a difference between worse and we, and yeah, the fact that we, we average more wins than the arena. We have and advantages I, I, to averaging more wins. Uh, we have two people. We, yeah. we are in no way denying that. Yeah, and we're, we're focused, you know. We don't have to play five yeah, arena yeah. runs in a row, which, I because, don't know, maybe they can focus through it, but I sure wouldn't be able to. Right. Um, um, and I completely agree. If you were to, put, like, separate us and tell us to play five, six hours in a row, mm -hmm. obviously our play is going to 
our play is going to do. Yeah, I do that um, sometimes. I average 7.4 wins per run uh, post nax, which is what Trump averages. So that's that's about like where my skill level is at. Um, although my spread is more than his, like he's very even among everything. I have like actual really bad classes, like the freaking priest, and I have like uh, also better classes. Anyway. I'm gonna do this a couple times. Sometimes I yeah, have this feeling uh, that yeah. Okay, keep going with uh, with chat questions. Yeah. Um. So uh, I mean, it's not really chat questions, but uh, flux capacitor. You basically uh, like we'd appreciate if you didn't try to insinuate that we said that they were significantly worse because if you look through all of our posts, you will actually no, never right. see it. Uh -uh. You would never do that. I mean, we think we're uh -huh. as good as those people are. We do. I, I mean, that's um, true. But we don't think they're worse, and definitely not significantly worse. No, and we do advertise the fact that we average nine point one yeah. wins per run. Because we think that's what people like to watch. They want to watch people win, and they want to watch people do well. If you're watching someone, right. you know, even you know, they're misplaying more often or something, uh, and that's the difference, right? The difference between nine wins per run and seven point five wins per run is just more misplays. It's you know, right. I mean, sure, I'm sure and the overall yeah. strategy is similar. And we have yeah, and we happily recognize the differences. The fact that we have two people, the fact that we are very focused, the fact that we have the luxury of only playing once a week instead mm -hmm. of full-time streaming. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, we we don't want people to think that we are disrespecting Huff or Trump or Crip or any one yeah, of them. Yeah. Uh, I think they are fantastic arena players. Uh huh. I follow those guys. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I don't have much time to watch, but every now and then I get to catch a run. I was watching uh, Hapu's run uh, yesterday, actually. Anduin versus Jaina. You asked for it. The light shall bring victory. Uh, okay, so another mage. This run will will potentially end here. Uh, yes, 10b5. Wait, you are tuning uh, back in, and we are only we have gotten to eight wins. We're probably not going to go master farther, choice. but so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm throwing the master source, yeah. by the way. It's not a two drop. Okay, we've just had so much success with it. I want to like combo it with uh, stuff. No, no you're right. we don't you're have right. anything else. You're right. <sighs> you're right. Okay. So the run could either end here or it's gonna end here. gloriously continue on. It will not gloriously continue on. It's going to end here. It's going to end here. Oh, at least we have something to coin out two turns in a row. That's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. That's pretty good. Uh, but we again, have we have no four drops. question from the chat. I don't know if it's uh, directed towards you, but to Bellatio asks, have you considered being prettier? Um, not sure I have. I, I have definitely considered being prettier. Um, I've, I have found, though, that it is very difficult to just become prettier. It's much easier to become a better player at, at the arena. So that's what we're going for. Uh, being prettier is like an incredibly difficult feat. I'm not sure if, if anyone's like tried it before. Okay. Yeah, that's a very weak move. Right? Like, very weak, not just sort of weak. Very weak. Yes. Dark Cultist, and then Damn, you just hit it. My fate is sealed. Yeah. Dude, I just. I don't even want to hit it. I can't clear it. <laughs> I don't even want to hit it. I don't know what's going to happen, some but. Pretty. Yeah, okay, we so we have a strong trouble. turn four play. Um, turn three, we can step forward and heal something. What's he pointing at? Like, what's he gonna do to that thing? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what's happening. What's he gonna I frost? I, 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 that? I never understood I'm what. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is for the. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, double frostbolt. Oh. I'm still very confused. Are you uh, confused so too? He... I don't know I'm what's going to happen. He used a coin too. Oh, did he use a coin okay. that turn? 
No, well, no, I'm just saying the coin has been used by us. Oh. So he can't, like... Wait, I don't know what he's doing. I actually don't. We just play it and go to the place. My fate is sealed. I honestly don't know what he's doing. Makes a little sense. Um, Smite plus Death Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because otherwise, turn six Flame Strike can come. Yeah, exactly. I wonder. I also just want to smite it, just just cause. Keep his yeah. board clear, give us all the options. Death does not scare me. What is what? going on? So we, Norshar, and Holy Nova, I think. I don't know what else we're waiting for on the Holy Nova. Yeah, we Norshar, Holy Nova, and then we trade the Drake. Well, we don't trade it in, but we like attack with it. We attack with it, yeah, okay. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I think it's that's like legit. a quote unquote waste of a Holy Nova, but not really. Not really. If he has a flame strike, he has to flame strike now, and then we can tempo and force the thing again. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I may have been able to silver hand and heal there, now that I look back on that play. That would have gotten us like essentially the same thing and been a better use of mana. We have many secrets. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Uh, okay, um... I guess we shadow where death at. Yeah, it creates problems for us. It does. And then we can blue gill and then we can just heal. Yeah. I'm actually gonna heal this. Yeah, yeah, you should heal that, I think. God, this is like a failed aggro mage. Okay. Like, very sad. So, we need to kill the cultist. And kill cultist, kill trade, and then drop 6 1 heal. Yes. We've used our shadow or death, so may this dark may may this guy never die. This death lord. See, so in this game, this death lord would have been better as pretty much any other three drop, but it's at least not screwed us. So this is when like death lord is even.
it did cause us to have to use a, a Holy Nova very, um, in a way that we wouldn't want to normally, but we had the board. That was so fine. He was but like, we weren't yeah. just, we just weren't getting much value out of that after that. Hmm. Yeah. What were you even thinking of? Of course you do that. <laughs> and... Mm. Yeah, might as well power show. I don't really want a silver hand knight. Yeah. I'm well, put this on the other one. Also, uh, I'm gonna put this on the other one. Kill it, ping, and then heal it. I guess. We just go to face, don't we? But you put the zombie chow out of reach. I wonder. We must. You wanna go over to the face? Yeah, I wanna go to face. The haunted creeper is not scaring me. Do we deal one damage with the face? No. He needs a flame striker, he loses. He needs a flame striker. Right. This is it. This is all we do. Fine. Fine. It's always good to save a ping in any case. Well, that also works. Well, now we're gonna ping. <laughs> Don't really have much of a choice here. What does he got? God, his deck just failed so hard. Because it had so many, like, aggro-ish cards, you know? Yeah. And then it just it didn't get that... It, it wasn't able to pick up... Seat. Did he ping the first turn? Uh, mm. Turn two? I think he pinged his turn two. I don't know. Not yeah, sure. he pinged his turn two, because we dropped uh, the, our, um, our Dark Cultist on an empty board. So he must have pinged us on turn two on his turn two, well which is uh, which is the start of the end for him. Yay! Well played. Please don't be beating again with us with the death one. Yay! Okay. <laughs> that would be sad. <sighs> All right. So so far, Rag has, I want to say, not won us a single game. Rag has been completely worthless in this deck. Yeah, it has been. All right, but we got nine wins. That's more, uh, you know, I haven't gotten a priest to nine wins except for one in like the last, I don't know, ten I played. So this is doing incredibly well. Um, I, I, I don't know what to summarize from this deck. I think the Direwolf Alpha Bluegill Warrior combo is strong. The Death Lord and strong, Silence but... is also definitely very strong, but we knew that. Dark Cultists are good cards. But we don't we don't have Death enough. Lord. We still don't have enough. There's also so much crap in here too. And we have no four drops. No, this, this just shouldn't be working. There's no there's nothing no. to read into this. This deck should not be working. We've been getting by on a mix of our really good draws in the beginning compared to our opponent's really bad draws in the beginning. Death Lord won us a couple games. Um, and I think that's it. We've just been doing the, the normal curve thing. We haven't even been curving well uh, after the first like two, three turns. Oh, we, uh, yeah. uh, North Shark Cleric won us definitely two games. Alright, now the typical Druid. This is not going to work. Ooh, oh, do we do Chow Tech Lord? <sighs> Chow kind of means we don't need Death Lord? Yeah, exactly. I don't see the point of Death Lord if we have a Chow. We'll get another 3 drop. We'll get a better 3 drop. We have a lot of 3 drops. 
Death Lord, according there to the results, drop. has been like our best three drop. <laughs> no, we oh, have a dark cultist. I'm, I'm fully comfortable with the dark uh, the cultist. Oh, I wish we had a coin here so we could chow and then like cultist and investor yeah. in some order. Oh, this is good. Uh, Go with this. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if he wastes his turn two just hero powering, that'd be great. Yeah, because we did. It's only fair. Yeah. Come on, Druid. L Tech 143. Where is your sense of fairness? Uh, Imp Master? Imp Master. Trade Imp Master. <sighs> yep. Or Dark Cultist? Or, no, wait, 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 okay. Master, no. master, no. Cause like, unless it's a bear, we don't really care. Ha! Getting at it. Getting some credit from Patio Doors. He says, Adwokta, I think you're better when playing with Murps. His presence is why your priest is doing better this run. Yeah. Well, Murps is a better priest player than I am. Mm -hmm. um, right. Although I think this run we've been mostly I've been mostly going rogue on you, like except for like the the more obvious uh, end game stuff that like you know maybe I I like don't see right away. I think a lot of the big strategy things I've been going things my way. Oh my god, such a six swipe! Holy crap! <laughs> this would be really bad if he swipes. Well, yeah, into the thing. Oh, okay. This is. Alright. I guess. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, the Warlord seems like an obvious choice. It does. Well, Silver Hand Knight is also okay. He can eat the Silver Hand Knight, though. He could. If we put out the Silver Hand Knight, then we definitely pushed a 1 1 into that thing. Oh, oh, I didn't think of that. Well, then he can eat the other one. I must consider. Yeah. Some more. Stuff is going to get eaten, period. But 6 6 out there is pretty nice, I guess. Oh, you're saying he's just going to eat those two anyway? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. He's going to eat them anyway. Well, Silver Hand Knight. So if we do this, we definitely push... The whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, the 1-1 one, one definitely gets pushed into 5-3 to just make it a little bit tougher for him. I don't know. For God, that worked out so well I for know. him. I know. <laughs> uh. Worked out so well for him. Yep. What? What, what just happened? What just happened? Wait, why? What? Why? why I'm so confused. That? I'm so confused. Uh, on Boulder Fist Ogre, force, right? Boulder Fist oh, Ogre. Yeah, yeah Boulder Fist Why would I Temple and Force to give this guy more health? You would not. <laughs> and then we use our guy to kill off the two. Confusion! So much confusion. He's Legend too. He is. And he's like proud of it. <laughs> Yeah. 
And he's using his coin now to draw cards, fair enough. <laughs> Mm. Do I kill the 5-5 five five and then heal it? Or do I Tempo and Force? Tempo and Force puts it out of range of the 4-4. Four four, so I yes. have to do that. Alright, we're getting all our big stuff out now. He still can't, he coined the last turn, so he still can't Iron Bark. This is fine. We can, we can kill the 5-5. Five five. Yeah, we can kill the 5-5. Five five. Uh, War Puppy says, sometime in December, hopefully, I would like to host a contest among as many arena streamers as I, I can find. We will start at a standardized time. Yes! And, uh, oh, wow. Did you just see that War awesome War play we made? We made the opponent concede by doing Jeez. pretty much nothing. Uh, it would start at a standardized time, and the first streamer who gets 12 wins twice wins the contest, and I'll give a $50 prize. Would you guys oh, be interested 12 in wins twice? Ah, uh, wow. I don't think we'd be interested in streaming for an entire day. <laughs> We're not one of those like 24-7 streams, and we don't have confidence that we can get 12 <laughs> wins within like a very short time period twice. Yeah. I mean, it happens. We've done it. back to back before, but not. We have gone back to back, but you can't really rely yeah. on it. And okay, so really good, like really good arena players get 12 wins. What 20 percent of the time? Like really good. Well, Trump is at fifteen percent of the time. I'm personally at fifteen percent of the time. I right. think so, like, you can be at twenty percent. So, we are right. at like thirty percent. Yeah, but I mean, but, but yeah, but, we're yeah. not going to be playing together. Like we would be playing separately. Yeah. Um, so, like, let's um, pretend a really good single. That would that would be an endeavor. That would be an endeavor. Time. That's, I, I, yeah, that would be. Um, uh, I would I would love to watch, but I don't think we would participate. Trying to figure out why this deck has 10 wins. Like, I'm There's honestly shocked. Game. I'm honestly shocked by this. Uh, There's no reason at all. Let's just... You're asking silly questions right now. Yes. Because uh, with the, with, there was a Warlock says. run that we had a crappy deck that won 12 wins. But the entire time we were like, we're tempoing, they're not. You know, we're you know getting cards when they're not. We were managing everything very well. And we're not really doing much draw. here. Uh, I mean, we made some good plays um, and a lot of strategic decisions to evaluate where we are compared to our opponent and whether we have to go fast or slow. But this deck is just working out. Uh, do we both blue gills? I don't think we keep both. It's an early play. We definitely keep one, but it's an early play though. Like I'm not pointing I'm not pointing it out, but Yeah, but we have other twos and threes. It's not like we don't but we have we don't have fours. Like the thing is a two drop is also a four drop. Oh. I'm not thinking right. of it like that. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, that's fair. Honestly, we we're playing with house money. We're at ten wins. <laughs> Oh, 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 look at this. Speaking so of house good. money, Zombie Chow is the absolute best against Shaman. Wow, such aggro. So much aggro. Let's aggro this person down. Hope they ha don't have a lightning storm, which at 10 wins, <laughs> they probably, probably do. <laughs> Damn it! Totem. You got the right totem. Ah. You got the only totem that matters. Bring me steel. Ah. Yes. Kill the totem. It's okay. He can axe now and it's not as bad. No. Okay, is this when the Death Lord comes out? This is when the Death Lord comes out. I think it is. Let's do it. 
Because our other option is to bluegill and then heal the zombie child, which seems really weak. And he can't do anything right. the next turn that can actually kill right. the Death Lord. Besides a hex. Right. No, he can't even do that. Alright, so Death Lord and then uh, push the zombie in, and then it'll buff the uh, Death Lord to 3 8 as well, guaranteeing the kill on the Pharaoh Wolf. Okay, fine. Fine. Yeah, so pu push the zombie child in, and then. It begins. It begins. The Death Lord era. I want to Drake out. I want to Drake out too. We could have blue go and coin out the Raging Worgen, but then our Drake is going to be sad, sad, sad Drake. I know. Or we can uh, we can also blue go and then heal. That seems that's, weak. That's not a bad idea because this is going to get buffed to four, and we have another oh, blue go which we can coin out the next turn. I'm liking that way more actually. Okay, let's do that. It could get hexed, but then he's not doing anything else this next turn. Consider... Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I, I like this, I agree. It's time. <sighs> Got a beefy 4 8 out on the board. Uh, he doesn't want to hex it. <laughs> he he kind of has to, but he doesn't want to. Yeah, I'm not wasting a Holy Nova on that. No. We have no other way of doing it. I guess the Death Lord is going to die. I wonder. We have no other way of doing this. We definitely Drake, and then... Mm -hmm. Do we just go to the face? Yeah, I think we just go to the face. Our alternatives, oh, okay, we, we can go. also coin out, to use that last mana, we can also coin out a blue gill and preemptively hit the 7-6. We have the Holy Nova. Yeah, we have the Holy like Nova. That. We're fine. We're fine. And I like putting... Yeah. We're okay. It's time. And if it picks the right person, the Iron Forge can just finish it. I know. Pick the wrong person? Fine. Force us to Holy Nova. That's how we lose. <laughs> this is not a game that Death Lord loses us. <laughs> like I said, this is definitely not a game that Death Lord loses us. This is this is how you lose the game from a drink. All right. We're definitely putting the Raging Morgan out because it's our only thing. Okay, so we put out the Raging Worgen. We hit the Novice Engineer, and then do we just Holy Smite it? Yeah. Well, no, we, okay. we use the Blue Gill and the, the Master Swordsmith to kill the Flame Tongue. So we don't Raging Worgen. We have to Iron Forge Rifleman the 1 1 then. Oh, no, I'm okay with that too. Yeah, we have to do that. Because we, uh, we can't keep this guy alive. I yeah. <sighs> Oh, so we have no card advantage. Lightning storm us. That Drake. That's what did us in. I knew Drake was going to lose us a game. That was such a good Death Lord. 
It was mixed with the Drake and the Swordsmith buffing the wrong person. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Well, at least he doesn't have a lightning storm. That's fine. Natasha's watching something really weird on TV. Oh, yeah. Do we just go for it? Raging War again, coin out the Venture Co, attack, and then hope the Holy Novo will clean up anything the next turn? I think we have to do that. I think we have to do that, yeah. We got nothing. I wonder. Yeah. We have nothing. It's gonna be sad. He doesn't have Holy If he had Lightning Storm, it would be stupid for him not to have done it, so he doesn't have Lightning Storm. Yeah. How do we lose this game? How did we lose this game? That Drake! That's the tempo swing that we needed. We needed him to spend at least three mana on that Drake. Yep. So, so far, Deathlord lost us one game that we don't know if we would have won or not. But then Drake lost us this game, which we probably would have won without it. So like I said, Deathlord and Drake, it's it's not as it's not as far apart as you would think in this new meta. Um, at, at least for the priest. Well see with Shaman, that's like really the the anti Drake class because no, of Druid. Earth Shock. With anything else, like Druid, Priest. Okay. There, there's enough of them. And silences are generally but they, very yeah, we, Right, right, right. But they need at least like six mana to do it. You know, like Keeper and Hero Power. Or Keeper plus something. Like, something else. The Frost Wolves stand ready! <laughs> We're certainly going for it. There's not much we can do. We can't, you know, leave a 6-6 six, six on the board and hope he's just, you know, going to eventually... Uh, it doesn't work like that. For the king! Ugh. Oh, he is holding good. over to deal 3 damage. Oh, well, maybe not. Spellbreaker's not going to accomplish anything. Spellbreak, Holy Nova, attack to the face. I must consider. Uh. Yeah, I think so. Can we do it some other way? Can we slow play the Nova? Um, no, we can't. We would just get more totems. <laughs> yeah. Your magic shall not save you. This is like the worst Nova. It really is. <laughs> yeah, we definitely couldn't have still played that Nova. On the bright side, he doesn't have that many answers. <laughs> Yeah, he does. All right, let's get some big stuff out. We can still win this. Yeah, Temple That's Force. A great start. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, do we play for cars or do we go for the face? I think we go for the face and try to win. Or no, he could taunt up. No, we're we're in a great position here. We're in a wonderful position. Die, mage. I'm gonna attack. Attack this and heal, to heal up to full. Oh. Yes. Or, or no, attack the fairy dragon. Okay. I heal it up to whatever. Five. Sure. Still enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's still enough. Because he has to remove both things or taunt up, or he's dead the next turn anyway. So, that extra 4 damage, I don't think was doing us all that much. No, no. It, it didn't. No and taunt. It, that could on. potentially be bad. Alright, he definitely wants to draw a card. It's fine. My eyes oh. are open. It's okay. It's fine. The dam stand ready. <sighs> He's gonna get a taunt next. It's okay though. I think we should still keep on playing. Uh, wait. Mm. Oh, we should have used a six six to kill off the three three. No, I don't really care about that. I'm gonna kill off the totem. Because he has to find some way to remove two of our pieces. All right. You must consider. I would have used the six six to kill off the three three though. Nope. Nope. I don't want to set up a lightning storm or anything like that. Because he has a fifty percent chance to taunt up again the next turn. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Pretty silly. Where's Rag? Yeah, seriously. Alright. 9 damage before Alex Traza can act. Nope, we got 6 damage before Alex Traza can act. Oh. Yeah. He's in kind of a pickle. He is in kind of a pickle. I don't know if that helps him, though. I really don't think it helps him. I don't know why he did it. I think he's just trying to prevent him from like losing life. But I want that totem dead anyway. Now he has to. He's committed himself to it. This is fine. Let's go for it. Ready, sir. Oh. Damn it! That is beyond horrible. Uh. I must consider. I have to kill Alex Straza. You have to kill Alex Straza, and then. And I have to drop the Northshire. You have to drop the Northshire too. Yeah. I'm not gonna heal anything. No. The alternative is to put a Northshire and then heal Alex Draza and then kill him with a 4 4. But then you can't kill off the fire elemental. No, it's too true. dangerous. It's, true. Uh, if you it's so dangerous, you can't do it. Yeah. Is someone injured? To battle! <sighs> I think it's a taunt totem at any time. We have a we have a rag in there. It's presumably gonna do something. I know. Do we just clear the totem and just try to keep on playing? I think we have to clear the totem. We don't have enough damage. I think we, we don't have enough reach. Um, yeah. And him having five health, that's huge. Okay, so he's gonna Damn it, Alex Raza totally threw off the map. This is no help. 
Got to play it. Yeah. We must cleanse the Sunwell. We proactively trade? Yeah. Okay. Right away. All right. Well, I'm actually kind of glad we got something small. The Frost Wolves stand ready. Oh. Come on. Attend me. Ready. Ah, top decking. Fucking Alex Straza. Fucking hate that card. There are so many fire elementals, Jesus Christ. How much one do we kill? It's gotta be 7 3, right? I don't know. It's not gonna trade with much more. I don't know. 6 7 trades with less, but it makes Rag safer. He's gonna put something else out anyway. He will. And Rag doesn't matter, she's gonna clear totems now. Yeah, but we we just gotta hope for Rag next turn. Doesn't matter, we're done. <laughs> no, I forgot that thing can heal up. Yeah. Uh, oh, we should have healed ourselves. Whatever, we've lost. Alex Straza, so that's bullshit. No, that's my least favorite card in this entire game. Your magic shall not save us. There's Rag. Are we dead? Nope. Uh. Dead. Well, it has to hit, um... No, I mean, we're just not dead, regardless. No, yeah, we're still not dead. Okay. Oh, oh my... That's <laughs> kind of funny. Thanks. Will destroy you. Thanks. Oh, this matters. Yeah. Well, none of this matters. God. Was that four? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, Fire uh, Elementals right. didn't kill us. Alex Raza killed us. Yeah. The Fire Elementals could have been anything. Like, as long as they were any kind of six drops. Like, they could have been uh, Arc Mages and it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> no, really, it wouldn't have. Yeah. Because no, they're I mean, Fire but... Elementals as. as Overcosted as you know, as I mean, undercosted as Fire Elemental is, it's not more undercosted than Alex Straza, and it doesn't change the game. Right. Alex Straza is a car that changes a... fundamental assumptions you make about the game, which you know we legendaries do. But mind. yeah, it's such a poorly designed was, card, uh... Alex Straza. <laughs> I'm not just know. saying it. I've been complaining about Alex Straza for about six, seven months now, in both ranked and and in arena. It just there's good game design and there's bad game design. Things like you know Death Lords and Alex Straza is uh, even Rag. It's just poor game design. But especially Alex Straza, it's my least favorite card. Death Lord would be le better game design as a legendary than Alex Straza is as a uh, as a legendary. <laughs> Uh, the only thing saving Alex Straza right now is that it is a legendary, so you don't really see it all that often. If you were told at the start of this draft that you'd only be stopped by an Alex, Alex Straza shaman with a trillion fire elementals, you'd be pretty happy. Yeah, but still, it doesn't change the fact that that's how we were stopped. I know. It, that just feels so bad. That feels so bad. Ugh. It's true. It's true. Golden, uh, golden Defias is always nice. Okay, well, right, you know, we can't, can't actually be, be upset about 10 wins with that deck as a priest. Uh, I feel like I, I, that kind of, I want to take back a little our ability to win with poor decks like that, because the last mage draft, we also got a poor deck that I think was no worse than this deck, actually. 
Um, yeah. And we only got five wins, so this was the balance to it. I feel like even with a poor deck, we can average more than six wins because in, personally, like when I play and I have a poor deck, I keep thinking I can average six. So Arena Coop should be at least a little better than that on average. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we're taking questions uh, now. Who the hell would play Death Lord if it, uh, if it was a legendary? That's a good question. Probably no one. But then again, um, there's some pretty bad legendaries too, you know, if you're faced with like Cho or a Death Lord. I'm going to leave it to you to read the chat and take some questions. My throat is actually killing me right now. Uh, sure. Well, yeah. Oh, by the way, thanks for pulling through on the, on the stream and not dying. Oh, um, yeah. Well, I was dying in the middle there. <laughs> Chambezi asks, what do you think about turn four hitting the Venture Co. with Death Lord and Bluegill and then healing Death Lord, leaving you with a 5-3 and a 1-3? Um, that's a bit more vulnerable than I'd like. That was uh, why we didn't do that, uh, because I wasn't anticipating that. So the reason the board shifted on us in a negative way uh, there was not because he killed a big Drake. That didn't matter. It was that he killed a big Drake with one mana, which let him do a bunch of other stuff. If he hexed the Drake, like even if that Earthshock was a hex, I would have been way more happy, and you almost never think that. Um, but we had this tempo thing going, and I was calculating the tempos, and it, it wasn't even in my mind that it could get Earthshocked, which it should have been. Um, but I'm not sure I would have played around an Earthshock that much to leave a 5-3 and a 1-3. Uh, he can um, Lightning Bolt or Rock Biter the 5-3 and then get another card back. As it turns out, that card was a 1-1 Novice Engineer, but it could have been you know, an actual card that we would have to deal with, and we'd lose the tempo, and we'd lose the board there regardless. And I think it's much more likely that he had a card that's like a lightning bolt or like a, or like a, a rock biter or even like a wolf rider as opposed to having um, a, a earth shock. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there were a lot of things. And this way, it's good. Shum had a lot of things that potentially screw us over. And we, were, we wanted to play around the potential lightning bolt or rock biter instead of um, the other cards, which ended up screwing us over. Um, earth shock uh, was bad. And he had that, and then he had the uh, he played the flame tongue the next turn to boost his venture co, um, and that was that was bad. But we did want to play around the um, the more common, I guess, small removals that people really like to draft. Um, yeah. Um, so, Zigzass, looking back on my stats and arena runs, I am a glorious zero seven 7 against Hunters. Any tips, things to play around when playing against Hunters? Um, Minion placement for explosive trap, if, uh, I mean, minion placement for explosive shot, if your opponent puts down a, a secret and, it, it, you know, you're, it's in a position to destroy your board if you have an explosive shot, if, you, if it is an explosive trap, just pretend it's an explosive trap and don't attack anything. Like, assuming you're not going to be hunted down and die the next couple turns, he's going to have to eventually drop minions, and then you'll just trade your minions into his minions, and you'll get rid of all your vulnerable ones. That's also why I hate ex uh, explosive trap. Every time you play it, even on the best board, unless you have them like on the ropes and you're about to kill them with lethal, you're basically saying, are you a desperate player? Like, do you have such a bad deck that you need to keep repeatedly tempoing every turn, or you would lose? Or are you not thinking about this? Which, you know, it works up until like seven, seven wins, eight wins maybe, and after that it just it rarely works. Um, but other than that, with the Hunter, try to not take too much damage. That's kind of it. And you have to put some damage on the Hunter as well. Most people don't view the Hunter as a class that you need to damage the way uh, you think about Rogue or Warlock, but you do because when you damage him and you can outrace him, he has to begin clearing your board instead of you always being on the defensive and having to remove his board. Because if you're always on the defensive and removing his board, he can still get damage in. Normal uh, uh, classes can't deal damage without a board, but the Hunter can, so when the game drags on and you're just clearing the board every turn, you're going to eventually get into very bad lethal range. Um... So Genlob, Genlob, Genlob asks, what is the takeaway on Death Lord's performance in this arena? Is it actually a good pick for Priest, or did you get lucky rolls? Well, both. We got lucky rolls and unlucky rolls. Uh, but we got more lucky rolls. But you will get more lucky uh, You're just going to, because a lucky roll is going to be something that's a low, uh, low-costing low card, essentially. Or a card that has a battle cry effect that doesn't trigger, like a Drake or something. And that's going to happen more often than not because of how arena decks are generally constructed. 
So, did we get lucky? Maybe a little? It's probably usually not that good, uh, but it's very powerful with that silence. Because the problem with a Death Lord is less uh, as a 3-drop. Like, it adds an RNG you don't want as a 3-drop, but it, it's also very powerful. Um, it's more that as a very late drop, you can't even put it out if your opponent has a board. Because it'll just die and give your opponent a card. So the fact that we had a silence already made the Death Lord much better. And uh, obviously it's much better in Priest than other classes because you can heal it. Um, and we also had two cards that boosted its attack that were low drops. One was the Wolf and one was the Swordsmith. So both of those also helped. In, in giving a, like in giving the death lord a little extra value, uh, you see me hesitate. Like every time I'm in a draft, and I see a death lord. I don't automatically think, "Let's pick the other card." I think, "Is this fitting my deck?" Because it could be very powerful. I would definitely pick the death lord in a deck like this if it was towards the end. Like I would pick a death lord over a lot of what people would consider auto pick cards. Like for example, a, a Twilight Drake. Because by the end of this draft, I was convinced that this was a shit deck. So RNG, like, good players usually don't like RNG, but good players with bad decks will still take RNG that's generally in your favor. Uh, Mulric asks, based on runs like these, do you think there are some things that you don't know about what makes a good or bad deck? Yes, absolutely. That's why I kept staring at this deck and analyzing it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I'm, what I'm missing. And that's also why I played like intensively priest for the last two weeks because I know it's my weakest class, uh, and you know my personal record be damned. I want to improve on this class, and it hasn't. It's been having mixed results, but I'm getting like um, a better feel for things. Uh, one thing I noticed uh, recently, and you, you saw with the shaman deck too, that we faced and eventually killed us, is that control decks are really a lot better for getting 12 win runs. Uh, than aggro decks, whereas ooh. by control you mean decks that have four fire elementals and an Alkstraza. Just you know decks with big stuff. Yeah, um, it, you know, <laughs> control decks are generally also much higher value, so there's a correlation there as well. But um, uh, but but also before in like maybe June, really aggro decks did really well to get twelve wins. I think they did much better than control decks. But after Nax. People are starting to realize control is getting more and more viable if you have the cards for it. And so the, the skew between aggro and control has shifted a lot in the control direction. At first it shifted a little, you know, one or two turns, but at, at the top range right now, it is a lot of control. And so if you can out-control a control deck, you're you're set. I had two 12-win runs in my last like 10 runs, um, in my last like five runs actually, that had an average of less than three two drops, less than three three drops, and less than three four drops in each of those decks. That's usually death, but it, there was so much value that came later and so much card advantage that it was able to make up for it. One was a priest and uh, and one was, I think a mage. And this conveniently has been what I've been preaching for a while. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, but, but the meta has just come there, it's a meta thing. No, I, I mean, I think you've always been able to win. Um, I, I think you're, it's correct, and now it is more favorable. But um, I've always thought that, and, and this is why you were always like, how do you win a shaman? I was like, I just play, and I just... Yeah, so shaman is very, game. very good in the meta right now. Yes. Shaman is very, very good. Yeah. Those totems are so annoying, as we saw. Yeah, but it's been... Totems it's been really good. I don't know if it's as good as a Paladin yet, but it's, it's getting there. It's definitely a clear number three now in my mind. Uh, if, not, if not tied with number two with, uh, with the Paladin. Um, so, okay. I think we're, we're running out of questions. Uh, tune in to uh, Reddit or uh, Hearthstone Players tomorrow. Um, I hope it'll be tomorrow. If it's not tomorrow, it'll be on Tuesday. But uh, I'll be putting out uh, Killing Malfurion, the uh, next installment of the Arena matchup series. And we will eventually even get to Rexar. Hopefully by the end of the year, but we'll see. No legendaries this time. I think we're going to break a streak. You only had 10 packs. Wow, I only had 10 packs last time, too. Uh, no legendaries. No legendaries, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to be back next Sunday night, same time, 
same place. Yep. Thanks for tuning Eight in. Eight o'clock and, uh, uh, it's, uh, Sunday nights is uh, now our regular, definitely regular schedule that we will make all yes. the time. Um, okay. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, and uh, that's it for Arena Coop run number sixteen. Uh, hope to see you guys next time. Okay.